And um, some of you may have heard of OnLive in the States. Um, we're, uh, be, we'll be introducing OnLive in Europe uh, within a couple of months. But uh, we're very, very excited to be partnered with HTC and very excited to uh, be one of the uh, uh, first new technologies that we're showing in the flyer. So OnLive is about cloud gaming. Now what cloud gaming is, is placing the games instead of on a local device, where ultimately you are limited to what the performance is, no matter how high performance the processor is, and moving it instead into the cloud, to a data center. So in, in this case, this uh, flyer is actually um, running games that are in a data center that is in Belgium, um, about a thousand kilometers from here. And the way that works is if you look here in the diagram, we'll have different devices. Um, OnLive also works on computers and TVs, but on a mobile device, then if you touch the screen there, the signal goes up through the internet to a server that's actually running the real video game. And then using a new technology we developed, we can press the video instantaneously and then stream it through the internet. And then it appears on the screen so fast that perceptually it seems like the game is running locally. And with that, we're able to go and create the illusion that you have um, this very, very high performance console class game. So we have the same kinds of games that are on the Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3, and soon we'll actually have games that go beyond that. So we have a little video now that kind of walks you through a demo. <coughs> Dive into uh, the online world, and you can see the online logo coming in. And then we have this really cool fly-in sequence. And again, you have the same richness and, and depth of experience that you'd have if you're running on a, a high-end device, a medium-end device, or a low-end device. Just here we are running on a, a mobile tablet all through a wireless connection. So when you get to the home screen with OnLive, one of the things that people do a lot, and this is what has been available for mobile so far, is you will touch the screen and go into the arena. And the arena shows all these people actually playing live games. And so we can wow. sift through, you know, literally the hundreds or thousands of games that uh, people are playing. So here's someone playing a game called Batman Arkham Asylum. And if I want to, I can go and, uh, you know, see if he wants to be a friend, and I can give him a, a cheer. And um, there's someone else spectating him somewhere else in the world in addition to me, so it says two spectators. So the next one I want to show you is something that, again, is the first time we've been showing working on a mobile device, which in addition to watching a game, let's go play a game. So there I've got vir Virtua Tennis. As you can see, I could go and um, find out more about the game, look at its price, etc., or just hit play. So look how long it's taking. Two seconds. And there it is, we're running virtual tennis. Let's touch the screen. It's loaded. Hit OK. Then we're going to hit play for the world tour. And then we'll just do exhibition with one player. Then you go choose whatever player you want. And uh, let's see, how about this guy versus her? Oh, sorry, got to hit play. This against, uh, no, I don't want her. How about her? Okay, so we'll have Andy Roddick versus Nicole Vadusova. Now, this is a game you could never, ever play on a mobile device. But, of course, to play this game, we need the buttons and the controls. And you can see them very subtly. You can see the very uh, subtle white outlines we have now. So this now is my, uh, you see I can move back and forth. I can move to the right, etc. So this becomes my little joysticks, and these become the buttons that I normally have on a gamepad. So I'm going to serve, hit back, see if I can go and win a point here. I don't know. It's pretty good. Oh, she scored at me. All right. So that was a good point for her. It would have been nice if it was a good point for me. But I'm going to hit this button called record there. And what that does is it makes what's called a brag click. It records the last 10 seconds of the play. So that's the way part that other people can go and see some of the best moments, or in this case, one of the worst moments for me uh, in a game and um, we can have more of a social experience. So let me go ahead and first of all pause the game. Then I want to show you something else that's really cool. So this is an HTC Evo. It's actually the exact same Evo that you can buy today in the store. And we have OnLive running on it. What's really cool is we have connected here, first of all, uh, a network connection. And we also have here uh, a standard cable that you get with the Evo that allows you to hook up the Evo to a TV. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to connect the Evo to OnLive. Of course, the video output from the Evo is driving this. So you can say, well, that's pretty cool. This is like 
I've turned my Evo into a game console, but how do you control it? Well, this is the online wireless uh, controller. Now, this controller was, was you know, is, is sold together in the online game system to go and work with our micro console, which is the little device that hooks up to a TV. Well, this version of the controller is compatible with the Evo and with the flyer. So, there you go. I can now navigate around. And in fact, if I go to the arena here, remember that uh, in the arena uh, I was playing virtual tennis and I had it on hold? Well, there I am. So here's the flyer. Um, so now if I pick up the flyer, you can see it's in the exact same place. And I can go and resume. So now if I go and try to play that, if I can score a point. All right, see what I can do here. Yes! All right, now, there is a point worthy of making a brag clip. So I'm going to do it record there. I'm going to pause the game again. And now, I'll quit spectating and go to brag clips. And in brag clips, you'll see that there it is, the brag clip I just made for Virtua Tennis. So watch it again. And there it is, where I scored the point. All right? And, of course, because we have this social capability, I can rate it. I think that deserves a pretty good rating. I'll give it a four. And <laughs> actually, it was a pretty bad play, but anyways. Uh, and as you can see, we have lots of things to look at, all these wonderful social features. Uh, we have uh, any number of games now that you can play you know, perfectly with the controller. We also have you know, items in our showcase, etc. I can go visit my friends. So you have the full online experience here. All right. So, um, and here you have it, the same experience right there. I'm actually going to attempt to hit a tennis ball here. And uh, off we go. And try to hit it back. And I see I'm just as incompetent on stage as I am in the video.